Yeah, it's Ross Barnett, the Deputy Commissioner. We good to go? Yeah. All right. Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We just want to take this opportunity to uh, remind the community that starting at 6 o'clock tonight and finishing at 6 a.m. on Sunday morning, police from across Australia and New Zealand will have a coordinated approach to the uh, management of uh, public space drinking, uh, Operation Unite. It's the fifth time that the operation has been run. The last one was run in May this year. While police are coordinating their efforts, it's important to understand that alcohol and drug fuel violence is not just a policing issue, but it's an issue that the whole community has to take responsibility for, for the causes and the effects. As we move into the holiday and festive season at the start of December, it, we think particularly timely to remind everybody to be responsible in their approach to alcohol and to be mindful of the adverse effects that it can have on our families and our friends. In Queensland, we're going to have extra police rostered on across the state, particularly within the entertainment precincts and the drink safe precincts. Our police will be targeting violent and antisocial behaviour, and we again encourage everybody to enjoy alcohol safely and responsibly. While this weekend is a targeted high visibility approach to the issue, the QPS maintains a constant focus throughout the year on ensuring people's enjoyment of public space entertainment and it's not going to be ruined by people who cannot drink and act responsibly. Happy to take questions. Thank you. All busy this time of year for, for, you, for you guys um, in those party precincts around sort of the, the festive period? Yeah, uh, it's a natural consequence of the start of the holiday season and the festive season that people are out enjoying public spaces, there are a lot more Christmas parties, people uh, get out and enjoy what the state has to offer and uh, that's only natural and appropriate, and we want to see that happen. We're certainly not the fun police. We're not interested in people who go out and know how to have a good time and act responsibly. We're only after that minority who can't go out and understand the, their limits and without trying to ruin the night for everybody else. How are things going in that regard? I know that it probably gets busier at this time of year, but essentially, um, more generally, sorry, um, are there, is there a wider prevalence of alcohol fuel violence, say, year on year? Um, the stat review was just released recently and that showed that this year compared to last year we had about a 10% drop in good order offences. Now good order offences are things like uh, move on, disobey move on directions from the police, um, uh, disorderly conduct, resist arrest, those sorts of things. Public nuisance is, is the major one. So it dropped about 10% but across the state we had nearly 48,000 of those offences which shows that it's still a problem for us. That, that number is far too high. As a community, we shouldn't have that level of, of uh, offending by people who can't go out and have a good time without their behaviour being such that the police have to intervene. We worry about people out there. It's almost like drinking's like a sport. It, 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 it just gets crazy. Yeah, it's sad. It's a, it's a community attitude issue that we have to deal with, uh, that people seem to go out, a minority of people, I must stress, go out with the intention of getting drunk. You know, binge drinking is an issue for us, there is no doubt about it. Uh, the demographics of the people that get uh, dealt with by the police, uh, as you would expect, it's sort of in the 19 to 25 year old age bracket. After that, after about 24, 25, it starts to drop off fairly markedly with age, as, as you would hope and you would expect. But uh, it's still a significant issue for us as a community and we can't arrest our way out of it. Uh, it's not just a policing issue. It's for the community to educate our young people about responsible drinking and the fact that there are, there are no rights without responsibilities in a community and the right to go out and drink in public comes with certain responsibilities, how you should act and how your behaviour shouldn't impact on other people having a good time. Unfortunately, we've just got to keep on with these sort of operations until people get that message. How many extra police will you have on board over the next uh, 48 hours? And I know you said entertainment precincts are the ones you're going to be focusing on, but which parts of the state will have sort of a greater police presence? Well, it'll be every area that has any sort of significant uh, entertainment precinct. As you know, we have three drink-safe precincts. That's uh, Fortitude Valley, Surface Paradise and Townsville. 
but all of the uh, areas around the state where there are entertainment precincts, nightclubs, hotels are trade late. Every one of those places around the state will receive extra police attention. We will have uh, in excess of a thousand police will be on duty each night across the state and uh, we'll see what results come from that uh, extra policing presence. The cooperation between uh, Australian and New Zealand police in this particular is, uh, operation, and, and is there similarities in the kinds of problems that they're experiencing across the Tasman? Uh, the reason this comes out of uh, the commissioners from Australia and New Zealand meet regularly under the ANSPAR forum, and this was a decision by all of the police commissioners that they wanted to uh, focus on this issue and highlight it periodically to the community that this is an issue that the community needs to deal with. So as a whole, as a collective, the police commissioners in Australia and New Zealand decided on Operation Unite as a response, and this is the fifth time, as I said. Um, the fact that we need to keep having it would indicate that um, the community needs to be constantly reinforced on the message that alcohol fuel violence in public places won't be tolerated and it needs to be reduced. What were the figures like last May when you held the last Operation Unite in Queensland and what are you hoping for this weekend? Sure. Uh, in May when we had it there were 287 arrests, uh, 19 of those were for assault, we had 140 arrests for drink driving and there were 186 liquor infringement notices issued. Now as in May this time round we'll, we're going to have extra general duties police around, we're going to use uh, the mounted unit, there'll be police dogs, we'll have covert police inside licensed premises looking for both drug activity and licensing breaches, and there will be a very significant emphasis on uh, RBTs and drink driving. So uh, la last uh, Operation Unite we did nearly 10,000 RBTs. We'll do similar numbers this time around. No, thanks, sir. Thanks for your attention. Thank you.